Humanity has always been on the brink of disaster. Whether it be economic, social, or environmental, we are constantly faced with problems that could potentially lead to our downfall. But we always manage to find a way to overcome them. Today, we're counting down the top 10 biggest recessions in modern human history. Welcome to CoffeePo.com, where you learn finance every day. If you have not yet subscribed to our channel, please do, as we bring valuable information every day to keep you informed and updated about finances. 10. 1772 Credit Crisis The London Bank of Neil James four days collapsed in June 1072 after it lost 300,000 in speculative stock in the East India Trading Company EIC. This caused a financial crisis that quickly spread to other banks in England and Scotland. The EIC was the worst hit by the crisis and it suffered a serious financial shortfall. In order to prevent the EIC from failing, the British government approved the Tea Act in 1773. This act gave the EIC a monopoly on North American tea sales. In protest of this act, American patriots hurled 342 chests of tea into the harbor in an event now known as the Boston Tea Party. 9. The Long Depression 1873 The Long Depression was a period of economic stagnation that lasted for 23 years. It began in 1873 with the collapse of the Vienna Stock Exchange and culminated in a panic in Britain. The main reasons for the tragedy are believed to be the demonetization of silver in Germany and the United States as well as increasing speculative investment. The collapse of the stock exchange in Vienna was followed by banking crises in Austria and subsequently in Germany. Price increases and lower profitability had a knock-on impact on Germany's manufacturing, with cast iron prices rising by 27% in the US. Banks such as J. Cook and Company generated funds by issuing bonds, notably those related to railways. However, when building prices began to rise, these bonds became increasingly difficult to cash in. As a result, the New York Stock Exchange was compelled to suspend trade for the first time on September 20. Exports in the United Kingdom decreased by 25% while unemployment nearly doubled. The Long Depression was a devastating period for economies around the world. Eight oil crisis of the 1970s. The oil crisis of the 1970s was a major factor in the global inflation of the time. The crisis began with the Yom Kippur War between Israel and the coalition of Arab governments on October 6, 1973. This conflict resulted in a major increase in oil prices, which in turn had a negative impact on the global economy. Inflation in the United Kingdom reached over 20% before peaking at over 24%. This was due to a combination of factors, including growing salaries, the 1972 budget, which featured significant tax cuts and increased consumer spending. The British government sought to impose a pay ceiling to combat inflation on November 6, 1972, but this resulted in a coal miners' strike. As a result of the strike, Prime Minister Edward Heath was compelled to establish a three-day week in 1974 with the nation's electrical supply ration. The cost of living in Britain had increased by 26% by the summer of 1975. This was the first time the country saw both unemployment and inflation grow at the same time, a phenomenon known as stagflation, a term coined by Ian MacLeod. 7. The Recession of 198182 The recession of 1981 to 1982 was one of the worst in the United States since the Great Depression. The unemployment rate rose to over 11% by late 1982, and many industries were hit hard, especially manufacturing, construction, and the auto industry. Despite accounting for only 30% of overall employment at the time, goods makers saw 90% of job losses. In manufacturing, three quarters of all job losses in the goods producing sector occurred, with 22% and 24% unemployment rates in the home building and car manufacturing industries, respectively. High interest rates placed pressure on sectors of the economy that rely on borrowing, such as manufacturing and construction. The US economy officially entered a recession in the third quarter of 1981. Unemployment increased from 7.4% at the beginning of the crisis to over 10% a year later. Federal Reserve Chairman Paul Falker faced repeated requests from Congress to ease monetary policy as the recession deteriorated, 
but he insisted that failing to lower long-run inflation expectations now would result in more catastrophic economic situations over a much longer period of time. In the end, Volcker's monetary policy decisions helped lead the United States out of the recession and into a period of sustained economic growth. Six recession in the early 1990s. The early 1990s recession was a result of the Federal Reserve's tight monetary policies and the oil price shock of 1990. These factors led to a loss of consumer and corporate confidence, which in turn led to job losses and a decrease in economic activity. The Tax Reform Act of 1986 also contributed to the recession by reducing investment incentives and causing the real estate value bubble of the early to mid-1980s to burst. This recession cost the United States economy 163 million jobs, or 1-3% of non-farm payrolls. The construction and manufacturing industries were hit the hardest, while the New England states and the West Coast were among the most affected areas. 5. Recession of 2001 The recession of 2001 was a trying time for many Americans. The recession lasted from March to November 2001, a total of eight months. The recession was brought on by the boom and the subsequent bust. The Y2K panic contributed to the boom. In 2000, Companies spent billions of dollars on new software because they were concerned their existing systems wouldn't be able to make the shift from the firms were overpriced and eventually failed, and this slump was exacerbated by the 911 attacks. The GDP shrank in two quarters and negative 1.6% in Q3%. Unemployment continued to rise until June 2003 when it reached 6.3%. During the recession of 2001, Many Americans were forced to tighten their belts. The boom had created a lot of speculation, and when the bubble finally burst, it left a lot of people in difficult financial situations. The 911 attacks also added to the sense of unease and uncertainty, causing the GDP to shrink in two quarters. Unemployment continued to rise, peaking at 6.3% in June 2003. 4. Asian Financial Crisis 1997 The Asian financial crisis began in Thailand in 1997 when the Thai government ran out of foreign reserves and was forced to float the baht, which had previously been pegged to the US dollar. As a result, the value of the baht plummeted and other currencies in the region including the Philippine peso and the Indonesian rupiah, were also devalued significantly. The crisis quickly spread around the world, and Asian stock markets hit multi-year lows. In August-October, South Korea's stock market remained relatively stable, but on October 28 the Korean won hit a new low, and on November 8 the stock market's its largest one-day plunge. Since then, Indonesia, Thailand, Malaysia, South Korea, and the Philippines have been among the countries most affected by the Asian financial crisis. Their currency exchange rates, stock markets, and other asset values have all plummeted. The GDP of the countries affected has dropped by double digits, and the political ramifications of the crisis have been significant. In addition to its economic consequences, the Asian financial crisis led to the resignation of both Thailand's prime minister and Indonesia's president. Anti-Western sentiment was stoked, particularly toward George Soros, who was accused by some of starting the crisis by engaging in large-scale currency speculation. 3. Great Recession 2008 The global financial crisis of 2008 was the worst recession since the Great Depression of the 1930s. It was caused by a number of factors, including the subprime mortgage crisis, the collapse of the housing bubble, the failure of Lehman Brothers, and the European debt crisis. The recession led to widespread unemployment, poverty, and social unrest. It also had a devastating effect on the global economy, causing a decrease in trade and investment and a rise in debt levels. The crisis began in the United States, but quickly spread to other countries. The United Kingdom, Ireland, Spain, and Greece were particularly hard hit. The recession officially ended in 2009, but its effects are still being felt today. Unemployment remains high, and many people are still struggling to make ends meet. The global financial crisis was one of the worst recessions in modern history. It caused widespread unemployment, poverty, and social unrest. Its effects are still being felt today. 2. COVID-19 Recession It's official. The COVID-19 recession is the biggest in modern human history. The International Monetary Fund released its updated World Economic Outlook report on Tuesday, 
and it forecasted that the global economy would contract by 3% this year. That's the largest drop since the Great Depression of the 1930s. The Great Lockdown, as the IMF called it, has caused widespread damage across the globe. Every major economy is forecasted to contract this year, with the U.S. economy expected to plunge by 5.9%. The report paints a dire picture for the world economy, but it's important to remember that the forecast is based on current information and could change as the pandemic develops. The silver lining is that the IMF expects the global economy to rebound in 2021 growing by 5.4%, but that's still below the pre-pandemic forecast of 5.8%. The COVID-19 recession will have a lasting impact on the world economy, and it will take years to fully recover. But with the right policies in place, we can get through this and come out stronger on the other side. 1. The Great Depression The Great Depression is the name given to the massive economic downturn that began in 1929 and lasted for over a decade. It was the longest and deepest depression of the 20th century. The Great Depression began in the United States, but quickly spread throughout the industrialized world. Industrial production declined sharply, as did international trade. Unemployment rose to unprecedented levels, especially in the United States, where it reached about 25%. The Great Depression had a profound impact on the world economy. It is widely considered to have been the worst economic downturn in modern history. The Great Depression began in the United States after a period of economic expansion in the 1920s. The stock market crash of October 1929 is often seen as the start of the Great Depression, but other factors were also at play. In the early 1920s, the United States had enjoyed a period of economic growth. Wages had risen, and unemployment was relatively low. But this growth was not evenly distributed. The rich got richer while the poor got poorer. This growing inequality led to increased borrowing, as people tried to keep up with the Joneses. The stock market crash of October 1929 was the trigger for the Great Depression. But it was not the only factor. That's all for today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to hear more videos from our channel, subscribe and make sure to turn on the bell icon.